Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Mulan in 1998. This is the 36th um, Disney animated feature film and it's directed by Tony Bancroft and Barry Cook. Um, now, <coughs> 1998, this is um, one of the last of the Renaissance period and yes, um, Mulan. Uh, this is quite acclaimed actually um, and quite a lot of film you could say overall and uh, basically yes, um, Disney's take on kind of Asian um, cinema and as also based on of course, Chinese legends, um, and yes, basically, um, you know, I loved, um, even as a kid, I loved um, <coughs> films about warriors and stuff, um, and different legends, um, but this is one, regardless of that, it's still one that I didn't, um, you know, watch over and over, like a, a couple, quite a lot of Disney films, <coughs> and um, yeah, basically, I think I watched it maybe um, a few times as a kid, but not, not too many times, um, and I haven't seen it for about maybe 10 years, more than that. So yes, I didn't really, you know, know what to, to expect too much, but um, it is a loved film, really, and, um, you know, on rankings, it's fairly high on Disney Renaissance film, uh, rankings. And yes, um, yeah, basically, um, I watched it tonight, uh, and it was on Sky, and yeah, I think I think it's, um, it's a good film um, for me. It does have a lot of flaws, and um, definitely not one of the stronger ones of the Renaissance period. Um, I think it's uh, <coughs> actually probably one of the worst. But it is, um, for me, better than The Little Mermaid, which I watched um, yesterday, and um, I thought it was very, very average overall. And um, yeah, this is definitely much better than that. Um, <coughs> the character of Mulan is um, better than better than Ariel, but not massively better. <coughs> you know, she is still quite a bland Disney character. Protagonist, um, all things considered. And um, Lee Shan is a really good character, I think, in this film. And yes, basically, um, a couple of characters like Mushu, um, voiced by Eddie Murphy. <coughs> yes, um, before Shrek, um, he actually did another animated voice, um, and it was Musha the dragon, the small dragon. And basically, yes, um, the story is that Mulan, um, you know, <coughs> young woman, and she basically, she has a father who is um, um, basically drafted in, into this war. And, um, yeah, against um, the Huns, and um, basically because he has to go, she basically, um, she pretends to be a, a man, a um, warrior, and um, <coughs> basically trains, gets into, comes into the army and trains, and then eventually there's a battle near the end, and then there's the kind of final showdown. Um, basically, um, finds in herself and kind of standing up um, t to the enemies, and kind of, <coughs> basically, yeah, um... It's a kind of uh, adventure film, it's an action film, and, um, you know, really amazing set pieces, I would say, action set pieces. And yes, it's kind of um, taps into um, Asian culture in, in, in quite a few ways. <coughs> um, but I will say, um, you know, in that sense, it doesn't do a great a great job for me. Um, I've seen, and I know quite a lot about Asian culture, and I've seen, <coughs> you know, a lot of Asian films, classic and kind of um, modern and animated um you know japanese films and stuff and um yeah i think you know it doesn't do a great job <coughs> you know in capturing um capturing the culture really um that would be one of my flaws and um really to sum it up you know <coughs> and that's not to offend this film and, and kind of bash on it but it is um basically a you know if, if i look at it one way it is like a very very watered down and, and basic version of uh, studio uh, ghibli um, films, um, really all the ones I've seen, um, yeah, and it's not, it's nowhere near as good as any of them, <coughs> it does have quite a lot of flaws, and you know, it's, it's merely a good film, and it's not, I don't think it's anything special, but it is, it's a fine film, I did enjoy it quite a lot in the, um, after the first 20 minutes, which for me, uh, are good, very, very, um, close to being average, um, just not a great introduction to, to the character of Mulan, and, you know, just the kind of whole bit of the palace and everything, yeah. Again, not a great start to, to a Disney film, and um, The Little Mermaid kind of suffered, um, but that was really half the first, you know, first half of the film. And, you know, the second half of the film was a lot better in that, but the highs of this are much higher than basically The Little Mermaid, and the lows are not as low, so it is a lot better. Um, and it does actually have a narrative that I do care for. <coughs> I think the highlights of the film really are the training camp, um, you know, it actually combines the comedy of the film that um, where it all kind of works actually with all these side characters that are kind of bumbling characters at times um, with this kind of um, <coughs> kind of epic montage and everything and um, yeah just um, 
I think that's actually some of the best parts and then amazing battle that follows soon after that. You know, the very, very famous um, set piece where all the horses are kind of, <clears throat> you know, riding horses down the mountain and it's kind of in the snow and uh, there's an avalanche that kind of happens as well. That set piece is amazing. Um, but that's about it, really. Um, there was nothing really stand out <clears throat> too much about this film. And, um, you know, I think it does have um, quite a lot of flaws. Um, we'll start with the character of Mulan. She's just not that uh, interesting for me. I think, as I say, she's better than Ariel. Um, but other than that, I think she's probably the um, weakest character. Protagonist of the Disney Renaissance um, period, really, you, you could say. Um, of the ones I've seen, <clears throat> you know, she's just not... Not as great as I thought um, she would be on, on this revisit kind of watch. Um, just a bit generic and bland. Um, early on, a bit annoying, um, actually. And, yeah, just a bit a bit one note at times. I think her side characters that were the, like Mushu and, um, you know, her horse as well. And just some of the kind of um, characters that she meets at the training camp and, and, and um, kind of Li Shan, who was a really good character, actually. Um, I think they're the ones that bring out at least more in her and are more interested in her <coughs> at times and allow the film to work, um, you know, to an extent, um, but if they weren't in the film. And if it did, you know, if she was the best character in the film, it wouldn't wouldn't be anywhere near as good. Um, but yes, basically this film, um, it is, it's a good film. I don't think, as I say, there's anything to stand out. Um, the first 20 minutes, as I say, was not that good. It was, it was fine. <coughs> and it started to pick up, you know, it started to have more of a development in the narrative. The characters did develop. Um, there was a couple of annoying parts when she, you know, it was very on the nose when she was trying to be a man, um, kind of just in disguise. Um, and she kept doing annoying things at times, um, I think, um, basically. The voice she put on and everything like that, it was just a bit annoying, um, you know, and <coughs> at times out of tone and the rest of the film. But yes, um, overall, these the training sequences are very enjoyable. Um, I did really care about this all overall in the end and uh, you know you met quite a lot of really good characters overall <clears throat> most of the development of the film happens there and um, you've got yeah just some some um, quite a lot of tension in the fact that a lot of the time they don't know she's actually you know in disguise and you know in the end she does become more of a stronger character but really um, she's nothing special but yeah it's, it's mainly the side characters and the actual um, way it's been put together the editing is very good um, the music used is, is really good um, Jerry, Skol uh, Jerry Goldsmith um, does the score to this film and um, the score, you know, is, is really amazing. Um, the songs to the film, um, you yeah, know, not quite as good um, as, as the case for a lot of, um, a lot of um, Renaissance um, Disney films. Actually, the, the score is a lot better than the actual songs, you know, the writing to the songs and everything. Um, but yeah, no, it's a very, very good score. And yes, um, Really up until the 60 minute mark, <coughs> it was getting progressively better. Had a bit of a, you know, a slightly disappointing final act. Um, that's why I can't quite call it very good, um, because overall I could have called it, you know, um, very good. But because of the final act, <coughs> it was still a good act. It wasn't a disappointing, you know, a, a bad finale, you know, or anything like that. But it was a bit underwhelmed compared to the rest up to that point uh, of the film. Yes, and um, I think that one of the best parts of the film is that massive battle, you know, <coughs> in the centrepiece. And, uh, you know, on the mountain and everything, um, that was so amazing. Um, the combined comedy, um, action, kind of tension, um, and all the stakes and everything, um, just uh, into one scene um, where, you know, she kind of redeemed her <coughs> herself uh, in, in the light of uh, Li Shan and everyone like that. And, um, yeah, it was just a really joyous moment as well. It was epic and um, just the way it was um, kind of put together. The visuals were great um, at that point. Uh, overall, the visuals um, to this film are good. <coughs> Again, uh, not great um, for me, uh, personally. But yeah, no, they are good, at times very good. And um, that scene, though, that kind of sequence was very amazing. Pretty amazing visuals. And yes, I think um, the kind of um, the narrative, the arc that happens throughout the film, it does wrap up nicely at the end. Um, there is a kind of out of moment with the kind of party in at the end, um, right before the final shot of the film. And in the final shot isn't great, it's kind of a cut-off ending and um, yeah I think though the tone of this film is after the 20 minute mark it is quite consistent you know there's no um, tonal dips really <coughs> you could say and um, after that really you could say there's a couple moments of comedy that don't quite land but it's mainly the fact that it kind of it it doesn't quite reach um, in terms of the characters and the, and the story um, and 
just the songs and the kind of <coughs> kind of um, sophistication it doesn't reach a level of elevation that could allow it to go higher um, despite even the flawed 20 minute opening and um, yeah basically um, the visuals are good <coughs> the score is amazing um, the songs aren't that good um, and the characters overall are good um, there's a couple that are very good uh, Mushu was a really um, enjoyable um, side character I think Eddie Murphy um, done a really good job of the voice acting um, I think the rest of the voice acting <coughs> is a mixture between good and fine um, yeah so I think uh, Mulan is not one of my favourite animated films um, at all really um, but it is a good film and it could have been very good but not quite there uh, for me overall um, I don't quite think it's one of the best of the renaissance um, and it is you know it, <coughs> it had quite a lot of potential actually um, to be one of the best Considering this is kind of um, Chinese legend and it's kind of elements of you know all the, the themes that could have been explored more thoroughly, but they do are they are present in the film, <laughs> you know themes of legacy, honor, um, kind of, and yes, yeah, just this kind of worry away. Um, on paper, that really for me really speak it speaks to me a lot, <clears throat> and you know a lot of my favorite films are kind of um, there's a lot of um, kind of uh, Asian films that are in my favourite films list um, and I just love you know the Asian culture and just kind of legends um, the way when they're put into film and done well and uh, you know I love animated films so the combination of this could have been a lot better for me it was a bit um, underwhelming considering what it could have been you know and um, ever so slightly and um, yeah I think there were a couple of missed opportunities with the kind of the culture that you know they kind of um, were going for and it could have been more, you know, tapped into the spiritual stuff more. Although there was quite a couple of um, nice scenes um, involved in that, you know, early on with the kind of the trees that, you know, the, early on in the film and uh, towards the end as well. And I do really like the, the Li Shan um, kind of arc in this film. I think he was a really good character, actually. Um, and it's a shame, you know, about Mulan herself. But she was fine. <clears throat> in the end, she kind of, she got better and better, really, throughout the film. But really... She's just a fine protagonist and overall, especially early on, a bit bland um, for me. But yes, I think um, all things considered, you know, taking into account the visuals, um, which were good um, for the most part. The characters, um, you know, mainly the side characters, um, the whole narrative of the film, the kind of, just the way it's been put together. And um, yeah, kind of uh, does have quite a lot of flaws. I'd have to give it a 79%. Um, that's a very, very high, good score for me. Um, and as I say, it could have been into that 80 mark or a bit more. If it, you know, it kind of come together a bit better in the final act. <clears throat> you know, I think um, up until that point, you know, in the kind of middle of the film and um, really after the 20 minute mark, it was getting better and better. And it was very good actually at that point. And, um, you know, this slightly came down at that ending, um, kind of 10, 15 minutes. And, you know, it didn't quite reach the heights that it had with that, that amazing battle um, just before that. But, yeah, so I think um, a modest effort, really, from Disney here. Um, I think it's a good film. I think, um, you know, it's got a lot of flaws, as I've said, and a couple of missed opportunities. Um, as I say, you know, considering what this film could have been, it could have been this amazing, epic um, animated film <clears throat> that really took a lot more things seriously and... Um, tapped into the spiritual side of a lot of um, most Asian films that I've seen. Asian cinema really, you know, at its best, some of the best at basically portraying the spiritual side of life. Um, and just, just yeah, epics um, films as well. So kind of, all things considered, it kind of, it does have a couple of missed opportunities there. Um, and I think the character, the main protagonist, you know, and actually the villain, um, you know, are a bit of a letdown overall. But it's made up for it um, at times as well from the side characters. Um, the visuals are fine, you know, they're good. Um, it's got some really quite overwhelming mo <coughs> kind of um, set pieces and stuff, but nothing too wowing in terms of the visuals. Um, and yeah, the editing makes up for it though. So yeah, overall, as I've said, you know, I've said my flaws. I've said the things I like, and I said the couple of things I really do like about the film, which is the, the battle sequence and um, the training camp, really, um, that has. A lot of comedy that really works and it kind of helps the character development and the warmth that you know um, I think was really at its best in the film um, here so re yeah really overall I think um, a good film nothing more but um, you know it's not 
it is a solid effort, you know, in within this time. Um, probably one of the worst for me of the Renaissance. Um, you know, again, not as good as say Hunchback of Notre Dame and, and kind of Hercules, and certainly not uh, the best of the Renaissance, which I'll get to <coughs> at some point. Um, and even it's not as good as Pocahontas. And Pocahontas, you know, is is the other one that you know, kind of similar, of course. Um, but really, it's the one that is quite panned, and I think it's leagues ahead, leagues ahead of this film. Um, I think, <clears throat> you know, there's, there's no comparison there. So yeah, I, I don't quite think this is one of the best of the Renaissance, but it is a good film, and and it could have been into that very good mark. So, a film I did overall mostly um, really like <coughs> and, and 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 slash like, but yeah, it did it did take a while to kind of get you know grab my interest. Um, uh, yeah, basically, um, has a lot of flaws, but I would definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah, Mulan, um, thanks for watching my review.